How big is the Earth? Today we can measure it with satellites and computers. But over 2,000 years ago, one man figured it out using nothing but a stick, a well, and his mind. His name was Eratosthenes, a Greek scholar living in Egypt around 240 BCE. And here's what he noticed. In the city of Syene, on the summer solstice, the sun shone directly overhead, no shadow. But hundreds of miles north in Alexandria, the sun cast a shadow at an angle at the exact same time. Most people saw that and shrugged. But Eratosthenes, he realized it meant something huge. The earth had to be curved. Using the length of the shadow, a little geometry, and the distance between the two cities, he calculated the Earth's circumference. His answer? About 39,000 kilometers. Modern measurements say it's around 40,075 kilometers. Eratosthenes was off by less than 1%. With no modern tools, no satellite imagery, not even a proper map, he didn't sail around the world. He didn't climb mountains or cross oceans. He just looked, thought, and measured shadows. It's a reminder, sometimes the biggest discoveries don't need fancy technology. Just the right question at the right time.